I'm Paul Lucia from Cabin and Row, and I'm going to do a slight demo small demonstration for you on how to apply a curdy to a drywall surface. As a member of the John Bridge Forum, we got a lot of basic questions on how to apply a curdy, and this should solve those problems for you all. The first thing you need to do is dampen the drywall. A damp sponge, you don't want to make it too wet. This also removes any dust that's on the wall, and it helps to draw the wall from sucking the moisture out of the thin set. As you can tell, I'm recycling a used piece of drywall for our demonstration. While that soaks in, I'm going to show you the consistency of the thin set, which is another big question that we get. Thin set consistency is very important. As you can see, it's very slowly dripping off the, the margin trowel. That's what you want. A little bit water that stays together. I like using a margin trowel because it's neater to get it onto the notch trowel for spreading. As you can see, I don't flick it on carefully in one motion. And it stays there where we need it to be so we can transfer it to the wall. When applying it to the wall, you want to key it in first and then spread it out. of your lines doesn't matter. You can see that it's not running off the trowel. I'm holding it real flat, scraping it on the sides, keeping it on the trowel. I get it on the wall first, and then I spread it around. Make a mistake, no sweat. Smooth it back out. This part of the procedure is a little bit about speed. I normally do only one uh, strip at a time, up eight foot, uh, so that it doesn't have a chance to skin over. The curdy's pre-cut to size, makes this life easier. Didn't put enough thin set on the wall, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. And then I spread it out just to get it tacked up. Then I take a clean, flat, dry trout, spread it out. Starting in the center, it's easiest to avoid air bubbles. Pressing gently to the sides. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm not squeezing out thin set. The goal is to just press the curdy into the thin set. Checking for air bubbles. It feels nice and flat. 
one of the things you want to avoid is tiger striping. That's as of in this example where you can see the notch marks from the trowel. That's one of several things. One, you didn't dampen your drywall enough. Two, your thin set is too thick, not enough water. You can sometimes, for smaller ones, you can press those out. And you can see there's a little bit showing still, but this is enough to uh, keep the tile secure to the wall. The goal when you're finished installing your curtain is to have coverage like you see here. It doesn't need to be 100%. You can see tiny little voids uh, the size of a grain of rice or so. But this is an ideal setting for getting your curtain adhered.